I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll teach you different techniques of sketching transform trigonometric functions. So this is a very important video and this is probably the only video in my list which has all kinds of methods. In rest of the videos you will see one of these methods. So we'll sketch graph of y equals to 3 sine 2 times x plus pi by 6 minus 1 uh, within a time period of 0 to 2 pi. So here we have a graph paper for a change. So let me write down pi and 2 pi as along the x-axis. So this is my x-axis. And on the y-axis, what we will do now is first sketch the primary trigonometric ratio sine of x, right? And then see how it could be transformed into the given function, right? So sine x starts with 0 then it it has a maximum at pi by 2 so maximum value is 1 so let us treat this as 1 okay 1 so what we are doing here is we are using each point as 1 and this will be minus 1 for us correct I'm sketching it in very light color so that we can highlight the transformed function uh, with a darker color right so sine x function normally will look like this. So that's one wave of sine x which has maximum at pi by 2, minimum value of minus 1 at 3 pi by 2, right? And zeros at 0 pi and 2 pi. That also gives us the key values of sine function to work with, right? So here I'll make a table giving key values for sine of x, right? So we'll start with sine of x. Key values for sine of x as you see here are 0, 0, which starts with origin, pi by 2 plus 1, that's the maximum. Then we have next 0 at pi and minimum at 3 pi by 2 and then 0 at 2 pi. So these are five critical points on the function sine of x. If we consider these five then we can actually sketch fairly accurate graph for the given function which is 3 sine 2 times x plus pi by 6 minus 1. right? Now as you can see each division is pi by 6. This is pi for us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So each division, let me write minus pi by 6 here, is pi by 6. Reason for this scale is that we have a horizontal translation of pi by 6 so I should be accurately pointing this out, right? So, so that means our wave will be moving left by pi by 6, right? Now First, let us try to sketch this function using the equation itself. So when we analyze the equation, what do we get? Vertically stretch by 3, that means amplitude becomes 3 times. And horizontally compressed by 2, it means in 2 pi, we'll have 2 waves, right? That is what it means, k value of 2, 2 waves. That means time period will be pi for this particular function horizontally translated pi by 6 to the left, one unit down. So the axis for our graph will be now here, right? So that becomes the axis. Let me draw in this light color. Correct? And maximum will be 3 more than this, 1, 2, 3. So that is our range, maximum side. Minimum will be 3 less, 1, 2, 3. Minimum will be 3 less. So I'm roughly teaching you how to sketch it and this is very accurate method, right? Now here, time period when we say is half, k is, as you can see here, let me write, let's analyze this. So what we have here is amplitude is 3 for us, correct? k is 2. That means time period is 2 pi by 2 or equals to pi, right? And horizontal shift, which I can write as 
let's say p phase shift p minus pi by 6 right and moving up it is let's say c is minus 1 x is you can see right let me write x is here x is as minus 1 so this is x is at minus 1 amplitude of 3 will give me maximum value of minus 1 plus 3 that will be 2 and the minimum will be minus 1 minus 3 which is minus 4 do you get the point right now what we can do now here is that we can perform horizontal stretch by 3 so that really mean, now let me first sketch without translation horizontal right we already incorporate vertical translation perfect and we will do compression and stretch so basically all these points will come halfway so this is at one two three so it'll be at 1.5 and stretch to maximum so there it goes this will be halfway so this will come at pi by two so we are stretching them vertically by a factor of three and compressing by half so this will be this is six seven eight nine divisions it'll come at four one two three four and a half right and vertically stretched by a factor of three so it'll be right there so that is how it will be minus two pi so it'll be at pi on the axis do you see that so one way for us will be sorry this point is here also moving one unit down so we have done all transformations we have incorporated these three and now we'll draw our sine sine wave and we'll incorporate that at the end right so so what we have here is one wave which is kind of like this do you see that so this is one wave we have where we have not incorporated minus pi by 6 but we have incorporated vertical stretch horizontal compression and translation one unit down now finally finally we will incorporate translation also so when you do translation by pi by 6 then one unit is pi by 6 all these points get to the left by one unit so this comes here do you see that so I'll translate all these points one unit to left and then again draw my wave oh sorry this should be here so this is wrong this should have started from here so that is how my wave will be so let me make this correction sorry for that I should have started because we translated down also right so this was our wave so red one represents the wave y equals to 3 sine 2x minus 1 so that is the red wave since we have two waves in 2 pi we'll repeat this wave and then draw the next wave so that we get two waves within the given time period of 0 to 2 pi okay so we have one wave here so if I repeat it I get maximum after one and a half of this unit right so we are not talking about pi by 6 and pi by 12 at present but we're just counting the graph units right so what we have is maximum at one and a half of this which is here and then one and a half we get the values which is three from here one two three right and minimum at one and a half from here which is right there and then the zero at pi by six less so we can complete these waves and draw the second wave correct so that is how you can draw the transformed function using translations compressions and stretches as I've shown you but the idea here is that you can actually combine vertical and horizontal stretches and compressions and the vertical translation 
in one shot. Then do the horizontal translation. And after that, repeat your wave. So that is one way of doing it. And of course, the other way is we can use the image points. Now, as you can understand, transformation of a coordinate point x and y on sine of x will be kind of x points will be half and minus pi by 6. So x points will be x divided by 2 minus pi by 6. So that is the image of the x coordinate points. y coordinates will be 3 times minus 1. So 3 times y point minus 1. So that becomes the change in y, right? Now applying this transformation, we can get transform points directly from the key values. And that is a very effective way of getting to the final transform function, right? So let's do these calculations. So for the first point, we get 0 divided by 2 minus pi by 6. That's the x value. The y value will be 3 times 0 minus 1. Do you see that? So when you solve this, you get minus pi by 6. So that's the same as minus pi by 6. And the y value is minus 1, right? So basically, what you see here is the starting point, minus pi by 6 minus 1. Do you see that? It matches with your graph point. Perfect. Now the other point, next point will be half of this, which is pi by 2 half is pi by 4, minus pi by 6. That is the x coordinate. And y will be 3 times 1 minus 1, right? So... Here the common denominator is 12, so we'll multiply this by 3, this by 2. 3 minus 2 is 1, so you get 1 pi by 12. So you get pi by 12, and the y value will be 3 minus 1, which is 2, right? So there you see, each division was pi by 6, so this is pi by 12, half of pi by 6, and the y value is 2. Do you see it matches? So likewise, you can do this calculation, half of pi by 2, minus pi by 6, 3 times 0 minus 1, correct? So here the common denominator is 6 for you. So you multiply this by 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 over 6 is 1 over 3. So you do all that calculations, you get pi over 3, and the value here will be 0 minus 1 as minus 1. So you get a minimum, I mean a minus 1, at pi over 3, which is 2 pi by 6, correct? Then next point will be 3 pi by 2, half of this is 3 pi by 4, minus pi by 6, y value will be 3 times minus 1, minus 1, correct? Here the common denominator is 12, to get 12 you'll multiply this by 3, so this becomes 9, this by 2, so you get 9 minus 2 is 7, right? So you get 7 pi by 12, and the y value will be minus 3 minus 1, which is minus 4. And that gives you absolute minimum for this at 7 pi by 12 minus 4. Do you see that? And the last point is half of 2 pi minus pi by 6. And the y value will be 3 times 0 minus 1. So that is pi minus pi by 6. Or you can say 6 pi by 6 minus pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6 and 3 minus 1 0 3 times 0 0 0 minus 1 gives you minus 1 so that's the last point for us 5 pi by 6 I mean I mean here the last point for us right so you get one full wave here do you get the point now within 2 pi you have to extend so you you just extend this draw a line symmetrical and so one and a half, it is kind of kind of going there. So you can you can extend this kind of like this. So that is how you can extend your wave and draw a transformed function. So what you learned here is that if you are given a transformed function, we can analyze change in amplitude, the phase shift, time period, axis. Axis is minus one translates pi by 6 to left, time period becomes half, 
of 2 pi that is pi and the amplitude becomes 3. Now that amplitude and the axis changes the range right the range now is from minus 4 to 2 and within the domain of 0 to 2 pi this time you are going to have two waves since k is 2 correct and now you also understand the second method of plotting the points and then getting your equation so if you go with the five key values for sin x which are at 0 maximum so this was our key values five key values started with and transform them with the help of image points you get your image points if you connect those image points you get your wave now since the interval we're talking about is 0 to 2 pi you need to repeat this periodic function so that you could sketch it from 0 to 2 pi correct so that is how you get a transformed function I hope it helps you to understand all the concepts of transformation of trigonometric functions thank you and all the best